Negative embeddings help you make your art better. It's like having a bunch of negative prompts packed in one keyword. If you are a stable diffusion artist, then these are the five negative embeddings you must have. See if you have at least one of these. Five, fast negative embedding. So this is the official Civit AI page for the fast negative embedding. You can see it's got some cool art generated with it. To download an embedding, you can hit the download button and paste the file in the embeddings folder of your stable diffusion directory. With that done, I have the interface loaded. Let me write a quick prompt for a girl in the street wearing sunglasses. Hit generate and I get this artwork. It's a bit blurry since we aren't using hires.fix, but it does have some issues with the style, hands, background, and all that. So I go to my embeddings, go to textual inversion, click on my embedding, place it on the prompt, and then hit generate. There you go. We've got some nice art, but make sure to have some other negative prompts in the negative prompt section as well. Why? Sometimes this can give you way more than the intended effect. Having the same prompt and switching on the hires fix gave me this. Now this girl has two pairs of sunglasses, so be careful about that. But it does work really, really well on complex prompts. Here is an example, and you can see I've got the perfect artwork. Four. Bad prompt negative embedding. If you are generating complex art and want the tiny details correct, then this embedding is going to help you a lot. You can see it has two trigger words, but the creator was kind enough to mention what trigger word you should use. Scroll down below and you can see some amazing complex artwork created with this embedding. So I have shamelessly copied and pasted a prompt from Civit AI to show you the effects of this embedding. I have loaded my good old negative prompts, and if I hit generate, there you go, we get this art with some bad bad eyes and bad hands. Now, let's try this with a more realistic model like Dream Shaper. You can see it cropped off a lot of elements and only gave us the face, but even then there are some issues with this art's tiny details. So if I load in a bad prompt and hit generate again, I get a much better result. Yes, I see her hands are bad too, but I'll get to that shortly. But the minor details like the buttons on her shirt, the tile, the hair, and even her expression are done really well. 3. Very bad image negative. Now, there isn't much of a difference between this and number Number four, but this only works on anime images and it tends to give a bit more quality than before. Here I am back at Stable Diffusion and I've got the same prompt with Anime Pastel Dream Model loaded. You can see in my negative prompt I have bad underscore prompt and if I hit generate again I get this. But now if I were to go and load the very bad image negative prompt and use this on the same prompt you can see we get a bit more detail in our art. To really show you this let me switch on hires fix and hit generate again and there you go. Much nicer details. There's this little tiny detail that makes this artwork special and it gets the job done. 2. Bad Hands and now let's dive into every stable diffusion artist's nightmare. Hands. Sometimes hands are so bad you feel like cutting your own hands. This is where bad hands comes into play. You can search that on Civit AI and you'll get a couple of results. But what I recommend is bad hands v4. Now, rather than correcting your model, what this does is it hides your hands. Now, if your artwork is focused on hands, then this might not be worth it. But if it isn't, this can really help you out. So I have my previous prompt. And in the negative prompt, I'm going to load the bad hands prompt. Hit generate, and we get this. You can see in this art, the hands are completely hidden. Like I said, keep it in cases where showing hands is not a priority. And it really works well when you want some concept art. 1. Easy negative. One of my favorite negative prompts, and one I believe everyone should have in their negative prompts, is easy negative. If you type easy negative in the search box, you should be able to go to its page. And if you scroll down, you can see a majority of art in Civit AI has this embedding in its negative prompts. It also does a ton of jobs like correcting eyes, giving more details, adding more quality, and it's generally considered as one of the best negative embeddings available. So I'm going to use this negative embedding on the same prompt along with bad hands, and let's see what we get. All right, you can see this time we get our eyes right, these tiny details right, and everything about this artwork feels intricate. And you can see our bad hands embedding is on play since we cannot see our character's hands. Overall, you can see why this is the best. So that's it for today, AI gang. Hope you you gained something from this video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Sorry for the long silence, but I'll try to be more consistent and I'll see you all in the next video.